But good afternoon, Marines, sailors, civilians, friends and families of Marine Corps Recruit Depot Paris Island and the Eastern Recruiting Region. Let me start by saying that our thoughts and prayers are with the many Floridians affected by Hurricane Ian's landfall, particularly those in Charlotte and Lee counties. This morning aboard the depot, Marines with Bravo and November companies completed the crucible and earned their Eagle Globe and anchor at our Iwo Jima Memorial. My sincere congratulations to them and a job well done, Marines. Additionally, this afternoon, our newest recruits arriving to Paris Island will officially pick up with Oscar Company and meet their drill instructors for the first time, a welcome encounter, I imagine. The completion of these two events, though, mark the end of scheduled training activities here aboard the depot, as we'll take an operational pause from the normal training schedule until the storm passes. Our measures to adjust the training schedule before Hurricane Ian arrives has increased our ability to keep recruits and our drill instructor staffs safe during the storm. So over the past 24 hours, we've taken deliberate measures to reinforce our base in anticipation of potential effects from the destructive weather. Additionally, we formally stood up our emergency operations center here aboard the base in concert effort with Buford County and South Carolina Emergency Services. We will closely monitor the storm and are prepared to provide real time response in any case of emergency. Good afternoon. Here on the depot, we can expect to feel impacts from a storm over the next 36 hours. For the families of recruits in training, know that leaders at every echelon throughout the recruit training regimen remain here and are committed to the welfare and safety of recruits. Their safety is paramount, and every decision we make here is with that in mind. For our Marines and families here in Beaufort, we have reduced requirements across the depot for operations on Friday. Your individual chains of command will provide additional information for these non-essential personnel. And lastly, I encourage families to stay current on local and state emergency announcements and continue to make preparations in anticipation for the destructive weather. What we witnessed in Florida with this storm has taught us that we need to be prepared here in the low country. Flash flooding and high sustained winds are expected here over the next two days. As the storm unfolds, remain vigilant. Each one of you are indispensable to our mission of recruiting and making Marines. Please stay safe. God bless you all and Semper Fidelis.